Hello viewers, I am Mike Lee. In the 12th Max Theory of Equation, example 3.7 in the video, we will see the question. Paarunga. If P is real, discuss the nature of the roots of the equation. 4x square plus 4px plus p plus 2 equal to 0 in terms of P. What do you say? Nature of roots are discussed. P is discussed. I have no values. I have no value. I have no value. X is the coefficient P. I have no value. I have no value. I have no value. Nature of roots. Nature of roots is discriminant. Discriminant is positive. That is greater than 0. This is positive. Positive is real and true. Now, what do you say? Real and unequal. Now, equal to 0 is real and equal. Now, D is less than 0 is imaginary roots. P is real is not the same. Real is the same as the two concepts. But, in your reader, we can identify the three imaginary roots. Now, the discriminant is equal to b square minus 4ac. This is the formula. So, we can find it. b square is the coefficient. The coefficient is 4p whole square. Minus 4 into 4 into p plus 2. a into c. c is the x. You can see all of this. Let's see. This is p square minus 16 into p plus 2. Now, we can add 16 to the two common add. So, 16 is the common add. Then, we add the common add. P square minus P minus 2. Now, further, we can add 16 to the P square minus 16. We can add 16 to the two common add. Now, we can do 2 and 2. Now, we can do 2 and 2. 2 and 1 are minus plus. So, multiply and solve and minus 2 and solve and solve and minus 1 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 and solve and minus that's why we find this fine part. Let's take a number line. What is it? If it is equal to 0, it is minus 1. Here is 2. Here is minus infinity. If it is equal to 0, it is equal to 0. If it is equal to 0, it is minus 2. If it is equal to 0, it is plus 2. If it is equal to minus 1. Now, if it is less than 0 or greater than 0, it is equal to 0. Now, if it is equal to 0, it is equal to minus 2. Minus 2 is equal to minus 2. Minus 2 and row value. If you get 0, it will be easy to substitute. If you get 1, it will be easy to substitute. If you get 3, it will be easy to substitute. So, if you get 2, it will be easy to substitute. If you get 2, it will be easy to substitute. If you get 2, it will be easy to substitute. If you get 2, it will be easy to substitute. If you get 2, it will be easy to substitute. If you get 2, it will be easy to substitute. Now, if you get 2, it will be easy to substitute. If you get 2, it will be easy to substitute. If you get 2, it will be easy to substitute. अपर माइनस इनटू माइनस नमले के ना आयडो ना प्लस साइडो अपो माइनस इनटू माइनस इंगे वंदे पॉजिटिव आयडो सो अपो इप्पो इंगे को वैल्यू सब्सट्रूट पन्ना इप्पो जीरो सब्सट्रूट पन्ना इंगे माइनस टू इंदर सिक्सटी नला बिटरंगे इधर मट्टा पारंगे माइनस टू इंगे वंदे प्लस वन सो इधर वंदे माइनस करो सो इं and if you have positive and negative, if you have equal to 0, if you have equal to 0, it will be 0. So, if you have equal to 0, if you have values, p is equal to 2, p is equal to minus 1. Now, when d is greater than 0, d is greater than 0, that is real and unequal. That is how it comes. d is greater than 0, it is positive. It is positive, it is positive, it is positive, it is positive. Now, minus infinity to 1, 1. इनों ने ना पाती ना टू टू इनफिनिटी वर्ड सो इन दर तला ना वंदे पी वंदे वरु पी वंदे इन द इंटरवल ला ना वंदे पॉजिटिव आवरो अपन इंगे एड तो मोदे बढ़िया इंदो ना पी इस 
greater than minus infinity less than 1 comma p is less than 2 uh, greater than 2 and less than infinity in that la p is positive next when d is equal to 0 roots are real and equal this p is equal to 2 p is equal to minus 1 Next, when d is less than 0, that is the imaginary roots. Imaginary roots, if you are negative, negative, that is negative. So, minus 1 to 2 is less than 2. So, p is greater than minus 1, less than 2 is the imaginary roots. So, this is the final answer. Our nature of roots in terms of p like it. So, p is the same. We will contribute to the sum. Thank you.